Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming at you with an unboxing and a haul. Yes, I went to the Dollar Tree again only to kill some time. I only got a few things and I'm gonna back you up a little bit. That's the wrong way. There we go. I only got a few things. Uh, my grandma was in the doctor's office and I had some time to kill. And we have a little helper with us today. This is Dawson. Say hi, baby. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. He is actually not feeling so good today. He went to the doctor and was diagnosed with hand, foot, and mouth disease. So that's not good. The good thing is he should be over in a few days. But he's going to be helping us with our haul and our unboxing. I am going to be unboxing the Target Beauty Box. If you watched my last Target Beauty Box unboxing, it did not go well. I ordered my Target Beauty Box um, the way I wanted it. I wanted, you know, the female version, but instead they sent me the Father's Day special. So I got the Dapper Dude Beauty Box, which was okay because my husband used everything in the box. But I'm pretty sure this is the one I ordered this time. Uh, it's significantly smaller than the Dapper Dude box, but um, we're just gonna have to dig in and see. Dossie, no, no. He's gonna push over the tripod, I just know it. But we're just gonna have to dig in and see what we got. And uh, hopefully everything in this box is all right. Sorry guys. No, no, hold on. No. All right guys, sorry about that. Dawson's right here now, so he won't be bothering the tripod. But as I was saying, I hope everything in this box is okay because it looks like it's been through the ringer. It has some damage on it, um, but I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's get this opened up. You know what? I have my handy dandy little knife here. Look how cute this thing is, by the way. My mom got me this as a Christmas gift, and it's this cute little knife there goes Dawson again and it's got rhinestones on it is that not adorable I have a baby in here and I have two dogs in here this is going to be more difficult than I thought but anyway let's let's get through this I'm going to use my handy dandy sparkly knife and get this beauty box opened the rest of the way all right guys I got it open Let's dig in. All right, it's got the red tissue paper and it says, hello fireworks. Bring on the bonfires, barbecues, and poolside parties. Inside this box, you will find a few of our beauty faves that'll give you some extra sparkle this summer. Try them out and if you love them as much as we do, find the full size, full size version at target.com slash beauty box. Nice. And here it's just listing what is in the box. And I got a $3 off Target coupon. All right, here's a little sneak peek for you guys. All right, first thing I see is some Clear Gel Secret Cool Water Lily deodorant. Um, I can tell you guys right now, I'm not going to like this. I do not like gel deodorant. Um, I might use it just because I have it, but I would never buy this rather than the solid deodorant but i'm not gonna waste it i'll use it next thing we have is the neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes i will definitely be using these i love just having a little towelette to wipe off your makeup instead of having to use the water and the soap and everything it's just so much easier oh uh, okay, these are the No Damage Soft Cashmere Headbands. This is cool. These are from Scrunchy, and I have a gray one here and a black one. Very, very nice. I will use these. I actually really, really needed these. Um, the only issue I see is that these do not have the elastic band inside that keeps them in place, and I have very... I have very fine, very slick hair, so I'll use them, but I know that they're just going to slide off. Oh well. Next thing I have here is the Frizz Ease Secret Weapon Touch-Up Cream. 
seals hair to eliminate frizz and flyaways. It's a little foil sample size product. I will give that a shot. Okay. Next I have the Cubella Bath and Beauty Mud Masks. Oh, okay. So this one is a deep sea, dead sea mud mask. And this yellow one here is a hydrating pineapple peel off mask very nice I cannot wait to use those especially the pineapple peel off mask nice I will use those okay three items left this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel the tiny little sample size it's cute though okay the next item I have here is the Acure day cream um, it says go to cola extract. Dawson, can you please come sit next to me? Oh, guys, <laughs> come here, boo boo. Okay, so it says this is the go to cola extract and choirella. I don't know what that is, never heard of it before, uh, but this is for normal to dry skin. So that'll work for me because I have combination scent. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily, so most facial products will work for me either way. Okay, we are down to the very last thing. Oh, this is nice. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set Spray. I have been needing this and I've been wanting it. I'm so happy that they sent me this. I cannot wait to try it. Um, I'm a big fan of the e.l.f. brand. I love the fact that they're affordable and most things they make are decent quality. I'm excited to use this. I have been using their illuminating, what's it called? I have been using their illuminating primer cream for a while now and I so I know that I'm going to like this. And Dawson's trying to tell you guys something. Tell him about it. Tell him what it is. <laughs> tell him. Do you guys see these uh, red spots around his mouth? Yeah, that's the hand, foot, and mouth disease doing that. And it's a bummer. It makes my baby sad. It makes him not sleep at night and not want to eat. I don't like it. Yeah, we don't like it. We don't like the hand, foot, and mouth. No, no, we don't. So, let's move on. I don't want this video to be forever long. I always say that, but my videos always end up being longer than 15 minutes. Today I'm using the bubblegum bag. Just a few things in here, not a lot. Uh, the first thing I have here is the soap dish for the shower. It's got the suction cups on the back. I really need this because I just started purchasing bar soap instead of liquid soap. So this will work out perfectly for us. Next thing I got is this shower brush thing. It's for your back. I was just thinking yesterday that I never really get my back washed because I can't reach it. So I saw this today and I thought, why not? For a dollar? Heck yeah. Um, this is the, my favorite thing that I picked out today. This, this stuff's awesome. This is the Viva, no, not Viva, Via Natural Coconut Oil. Dossie. Come here. Anyway, it comes in this little tube and it smells so good. You have no idea. And I love that it has this tiny little uh, nozzle on it. So if you want to put it under your eyes, you can. If you want to put it directly on your scalp, you can. I've just been using it in my hand and rubbing it up my arms. Initially, I got this for my dogs because they have very dry skin and coconut oil is good for that. But I think I'm going to be keeping this one and I will use my regular Palmer's coconut oil on the doggies. 
love this. I will buy this again if I can find it. Uh, the Dollar Tree that I went to today is not my local Dollar Tree. It's actually pretty far away because I had to take my grandma to the doctor and she and her neurologist is in a completely, completely different town, different county even. So this thing is cool. I haven't seen anybody haul these yet and I can't imagine why they're, they're awesome. This is a fingernail polish remover container. So that may sound kind of ridiculous. Fingernail polish art remover already comes in a container. Why should you buy another one? Wow. So you put your little cotton ball right here and then you push and the remover comes out. How cool is that? I'm excited. The only thing I worry about is putting my acetone in here because I don't use regular fingernail polish remover. I use acetone and I hope it doesn't eat away this plastic. It shouldn't because the acetone comes in a plastic bottle, but hopefully they're not a different kind of plastic. So that was cool. I'm glad I grabbed that. Next thing I got is this Sassy Chic uh, hum Humus Stone. I guess that's what you call it. Pierre's? I don't know. I don't know. I, it's one of those things you scrub your feet with to get the dead skin off. It's got like a rubber grip on this so on the outer edge and it's got the rough stone stuff on both sides. Hopefully that can help me because I have some calluses on my tootsies. Last two things. I found the Haritos in Mandarin flavor. So I got two of those. I love these. They're delicious. If you get a chance, please try them. So I need to run because I can hear my son destroying something in the kitchen. So if you enjoyed this haul, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this unboxing, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for playing along and I will see you next time. Bye.